Hello everybody, Chuckling to 1000 and Point for Duty, welcoming you back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we finally made our way up here to Colony 6. And, wait. Wait, is there a place a guy who play music here? I did not know that. But anyway, last time, I already mentioned what we did last time, so why am I saying that again? This time, we actually are going to be doing a little bit of a side quest before making our way down to that cave entrance over there. So, first and foremost is stay on the right side of the fence. Um, we need to head down here. This is a lift for us to take. But... Yeah. Terminal victory. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually a demonstration about the fact that you can take too much damage when you fall to the point where you would actually die. Um, let's actually have a look at that, actually. Uh, yeah, here we go. Fell to your demise from a great height. Even if you was controlling Vine, who has more HP, that still would have instantly killed him. You have to actually take the elevator. Uh, Vine, what are you? Yeah, Yo, whatever you're into, buddy. Whatever you're into. Right, okay. Uh, for a second, I thought something. So, um, earlier on, when we was a little bit further up there... I was actually trying to show a little something for looking down along this bit. Uh, we're still not at the right angle to do that. Just as a heads up. Uh, right, so head down this way. We've got Sky Rogals here. I think they actually will initial a bow against you. Uh, not sure if he's at my current level, though, because I am level 25 currently. There's an ether deposit right over there. It's not a big one, though. But anyway, right over there, you can actually see the Mekonis. And if you look down there, you can actually see Colony 9 right on the Bionis... Um, well, Shin is the best way of saying it. But yeah, right down there is Colony 9. Definitely a unique touch. Right then, let's actually collect that Nopon coin. To make it to that cave entrance, you just have to go down this way. Oh, hello. Grom Nebula. Um, I don't know what gr element Grom is about when it comes to Ether. So there you go. We've grabbed the Nopon coin and we can immediately take it straight back to the Nopon. But I want to proceed further down this way real quick. Because here we have a graceful Holland. I just want to take out. I just want to take out these enemies first. One hundredth Hox Spur, Door Guarder, and Small Hox Crystal. Okay, nice. Now for the big one. I like how you say that the enemy is weak and is a unique monster. Right, using Elemental Cannon. Okay, not sure what Ether Energy that is. Where's Charlotte? Uh, did Charlotte fall over? Now, the only problem about these enemies is the fact that you actually have no idea where the front is or where the back is. But thankfully, to see the Big Chronicles Definitive Edition, they actually highlight... The most important part. So like when you highlight a chance. 
so it will let you know exactly if you are directly in the right side. Yeah, Charlotte got knocked off. Right. Oh, so your element is electricity. Okay. Good. We'll encourage you, Vine. Um, Charlotte's actually trying to shoot the enemy from way out that. Oh, she's dealing with that enemy. There you go. So if I do focus, that will actually hopefully bring Charlotte back. Yeah, Charlotte's coming, making her way back down here. Okay, I think chain attack time. I'll use Slit Edge. Okay, there we go. So what you saw right there was a chain link. That actually happens the more the party trusts each other. And it can actually stack up to a maximum of 15 times. We actually was given a, a tutorial about this, but that was so long ago. Oh, we actually had chance very briefly. Right, using Minato Buster here. <laughs> Don't hog all the glory. <laughs> Oh, why way will you learn? Right, so you shake your edge. Obviously, it's not going to do much good considering the fact that the enemy is not toppled. And there we go. So we've got a thunder element, a large Jupiter crystal, a brain rifle, and empress plate. So I'm guessing with the fact, obviously, with it saying empress... It means it's women's gear specifically. It is heavy gear. Oh no, Vine can actually wear it, never mind. Uh, Alright, so it actually does raise Vine's physical defense by 45, but it does drop everything else. It does actually have Spike 2. Spike is basically an added bonus where if an enemy attacks the person... Spike will happen to actually initial damage to the enemy that originally did damage to you. There are some enemies out there that actually do have that element. So, heck yeah. I'm actually going to equip that to mine right away. And uh, Charlotte's new weapon, the Brain Rifle. Three? Three slots. It is dropping the auto attack and also the critical rate by a little bit. But... It could actually be useful, except I would be I would be sacrificing Ether up three for that, and I'd rather not. But that was actually not the reason why I wanted to come down here to battle that unique monster. Uh, I wanted to come down here because if you make it to this pipe. Drainage outlet. You can warp here whenever you want. It will save us having to keep going up and down and up and down the lift again and again. Right, so the collectibles have restocked. And we've got two spirit clemat uh, clematis, I think. These names sometimes are really hard to actually mention. Right, so I'm guessing... Ah, okay. So the Grom Nebula only show when it's a thunderstorm. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we got another Ablagon Turtle. Getting a lot of White Knight rods. Hey, uh. Now we got Break 2. 
And of course, he has another quest for us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Once again, I was getting too trigger happy. I just wanted to skip through the text log. Okay, um. Safety first. Defeats four yellow antols, six soft hoax, and three water yupers in colony six. So the water yupers only appear during rain or a thunderstorm. I mean, since we are in rain or uh, thunderstorm currently, that actually is an advantage for us. And these soft hawks straight away die in one hit. There we go. Oh wow, that actually didn't kill it. Alright, there we go. No, not you, not you. Uh, more soft hawks over here. Oh, no, no. Ah, okay. This one's level 17. This one's also level 17. Okay, last one. There we go. That's all the soft hawks. Now for the yellow antol. There you go, that's one. Oh, Liga boots. Okay. Uh, medium where does actually ooh, oh actually does raise Charlotte's stats quite by a fair bit. Okay, remove selected item. There we go. Uh, and we'll put that back on you. Uh, the fish tank has just come on right next to me, so I'm going to feed the fish real quick. So just bear with me. They're not really that far away. One thing about being home alone, you've got to take responsibility into your own hands when it comes to, like, looking after the place. It can be relatively simple, but, oh, another spit cluster and Empress Arms. Right, okay. So this is guaranteed strength up two, and it's raising physical defense even further for Vine, so yeah, may as well. And we got, okay, so we got two spit clusters. Oh wow, white cluster actually has an arts stealth. So that means if you're using an art, uh, you're not actually increasing aggro to the Enemy, I'm pretty sure is what that means. Okay, there's another yellow antol right over here, so I may as well defeat it. There we go. And, oh, the thunderstorm's gone. If I turn back time, does that actually bring it back? No, it doesn't. Dang it. Uh, I was hoping for that not to happen. Fine, stop doing that.
Okay. Deal with the yellow ant all again. Okay. I'll just keep changing the time until it starts raining. Oh. For a second, I thought it was going to for a second then. No. No. Still no. Yeah, you're going to have to do this quite a few times, actually, just to actually get what you need. Hmm. Watch point of view. Maybe if I walk. No. No. Oh, it's like not easy trying to think about this. No. There we go. That technique I actually learned in Xenoblade Chronicles X, where certain enemies actually showed up during certain weather conditions, and the only way to change it was actually to change the time. Got another pile driver. Not really going to be needing that. And there we go. We've completed the quest. Now we can actually report back to Data. Right, calm shot. We don't really need that. Well, they're actually dropping items I don't personally need. May as well sell them because uh, they're not really as strong as the weapons I currently have equipped. So, yeah, just watching watching my cat Polly just cleaning herself. <laughs> She likes spending time with me when I'm downstairs, apparently, when I'm home alone, which is understandable. Right, let's sell the stuff that we just got. Pile driver, calm shot, pile driver, spit cluster, we've already got one of them and it's already equipped. Uh, the brain wipe actually is really good. Door guard uh, is... Yeah, comparing it with 185, 130, yeah, getting rid of that. Okay. God's sake, does it? I actually realized I called him Data accidentally. Because <laughs> I thought that's what his name was. Pelt Bottoms and Pelt Top. Oh, we got Army Pike. No, that's useless. Hunter gear. No. Bind to. No, your gear is useless. And can you stop screaming like that? Yeah, okay. This one is actually just delivering a letter. No, hey, 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 hey. Uh, let's see. Pelt up. Yeah. With the current gear that's equipped. Yeah, I'm sorry, but. 
all of that work for gear that we're never actually going to use. Okay, let's see. So, bionic leg. Uh, right. We need... We need Spiral Valley Warp. Nearly ran straight into danger there. So obviously there's the Aqua Nebula. So I'm willing to believe that the ether enemies of of the weather. There's one for water, there's one for a thunderstorm. There's one. Uh, may I think there might be one for like a harsh sunlight kind of thing. I'm not sure if we've actually seen that weather yet. But yeah, literally, like, the only weather we've actually seen is just rain and thunderstorm. That's it. Okay, now we head straight back to Daza. I can't believe the fact they actually spent the entire episode of just doing his quests alone. But then again, we did spend the majority of our time just like changing the time constantly just to get the weather that we wanted. And uh, I definitely can tell this is the last quest that he will be hosting, I believe. There we go. There we go. Slow three and top secret data. Right. Actually going to have a look at that. A document from the Nopon traders is completely el eligible. Right, okay. Ugh, we got Queen's gut fluid? Ugh. Alright. Actually, why are we at it? Oh, we're two items away from completing the Clexopedia for Colony 6. So we've got Cute Orchid, Spirit Clematis, the Corgi, the Turtle. A lizard. Oh, paralysis resist too. I mean, that actually would have been useful against that electric ether uh, unique monster that we dealt with earlier on. But anyway, I think that does it for this episode. I was hoping that we was going to do those quests a lot faster, but I completely nutly forgot that that Nopon actually... Um, had three quests. I completely forgot about that. But anyway, next time we celebrate Chronicles Definitive Edition, we are definitely going to be making our way down that uh, down that mine path near Drain Ledge Outlet. See you guys then.